Okay, so uh, we're moving on to another section, and this one is talking about the Chinese Postman algorithm. Now, the Chinese Postman algorithm uh, it's not come up, it wasn't invented by a Chinese postman, uh, but the algorithm itself does originate from a Chinese mathematician who was taking the problem of a postman as the driving force behind the algorithm and how you would actually calculate it. Um, and what it concerns is that, let's say we have a, a postman who must start at his depot, his or her depot, and um, let's say the depot is at A, for example, and then they need to travel along each of these roads, which has uh, a certain time attributed with it, maybe. could be a time uh, on the edges, and or it could be a distance, for example. Okay. Um, and what they want to do is they want to minimize the amount of time they travel. They want to go along each road once, okay? They don't particularly want to repeat a road, so they want to do it in the least possible time. So, and they want to be as efficient as they possibly can. Now, this idea of traveling along each edge uh, precisely once and getting back to where you started is a problem that I introduced in one of the earlier videos uh, where I introduced graph theory. Okay, and in that section, what we're talking about here is that we want an Eulerian graph. And if you remember, an Eulerian graph was a specific one where all of the vertices had even order. Now we can look at this graph. And we can say, well, actually, hold on a minute, because if we actually put numbers next to each of the vertices, so that has two edges coming out of it, this has four, this is two, that's four, that's three, that's three, and that's two. So in actual fact, they don't all have even order. Uh, two of them have odd order. Okay, So this is actually a semi eulerian graph. So, we're not going to be able to find a route from A that travels along each of the edges and gets back to where you start, okay? Unless we make the graph Eulerian. Now, what that means is that we are going to add in a shortest edge. We're effectively going to add in a repeated edge so that we actually are going to have to go back along one of the roots, one of the edges. Now, not necessarily, that doesn't necessarily mean it's just one edge. It might have to go across back two of the edges. But we want to do it in the least possible way, okay? We want to find the least possible distance to cover so that we don't go over some roads unnecessarily. So the process of this is that you first, in any Chinese postman algorithm problem, make sure you write down the odd vertices and you make it clear to the examiner that that is the first thing you do. So the odd vertices in this case are F and G. <coughs> um, <coughs> excuse me. So the odd vertices are F and G. So what we do is we write down, well, the shortest distance from F to G. If we look at it directly, we could think that it's 8. But be careful. These ones are going to be there really, uh, in the main case, um, be done by inspection. So you've got to have a good eye with it as well. There's actually a shorter route by going 2, 3, and 4. Okay, no, 2, 2 3, and 1. So 6. So the shortest distance is actually 6. So if I go back along those edges, okay, so I effectively I'm going to go back along this edge, go back along this edge, and then go back along this edge, I put in repeated edges, 
so that this graph is now Eulerian. This vertex now has degree 4, okay, because there are four edges coming out of it. This is 4, that's 4, this is now 6, okay, so that would make all of the vertices have even order, and therefore this graph is now Eulerian. So the total distance that would have to be travelled is all of the edges added together, so 5 and 7, 15, 19, um, 21, 22, 29, 30, 33, 36, plus the ones that we added on, plus the 6. So the actual distance is 42. So the shortest distance in this case to travel is 42. So it's all a case of adding in the shortest route that will, the shortest amount of edges that will make the graph Eulerian. You don't actually have to draw the edges in to the graph, okay? unless you really want to. But what we will see is that traditionally this problem has more than two odd vertices. It is usually four, okay? And we will see a couple of examples of how we deal with that.